So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the system button on the MFD panel on the center pedestal and I'll get a maintenance uh, message here and I'll select that maintenance and it takes me into the menu. And the first menu I go to is status and you can see here the display processing computer one hot battery input for some reason is missing. So now we know what's causing the maintenance light. Now what do we do with that? We're going to come across the top of this menu to your out, uh, onboard maintenance and I'm going to select line maintenance. And when I select line maintenance, I'm going to get some choices. And what I want to look at is existing faults. That will tell me more detail on that hot battery bus problem. So when I select it, it comes back and tells me, sure enough, DP, uh, DPC1 hot battery. This code, in our case, we really don't need this time around. That is the code that's activating the maintenance light. If we were MELing it, we want to give that to maintenance control, but this is non-dispatchable. The uh, maintenance message is ours. That's what we're going to take to the IFIM. So uh, we've got our 3100261 IFIM reference. I'm going to highlight the fault and my maintenance message data screen, uh, button will be illuminated so I'll select it. Now it's going to give me some information. Hey, it says this is the breaker. Okay, power's not available for, uh, from it. Down here, it, it's active. That means it's a latched fault. Okay, down here is the uh, isolation procedures. It's either computer wiring or the hold up circuit breaker C4022. So of course, we'd probably check the breaker first. Okay, and that is what the FIM task has you do. And most of the time, when you encounter this fault, it's going to be when the airplane has been powered down and powered back up. First flight of the day, for example, is good. I'll fo probably find this DPC hot battery breaker in. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to leave it out about 20 seconds and push it back in. That should clear this nuisance fault. And as you see, we pulled the breaker and reset it and the fault is cleared. I'm going to check this by going back and I'm going to look at my status page. Voila! And we can also look at the overhead and the maintenance light is out.